Hello everyone, welcome to the stream today. <coughs> Don't mind the cough, I am not dying. Uh, I got a day off work today, so that's neat. Um, so, guess what I get to do? I get to stream. Uh, I should turn this off. Like so, and today we're playing Project Zomboid. Because uh, wouldn't it be cool to live in a society where there's nothing? Hello, Lana! Hello! <laughs> But yeah, so I, I, I get a party a little bit. And don't we all want to live in a society where there are no rules? Where you don't have to get up to work? Where you don't have to pay taxes? Where you don't have to worry about what you have to wear to your son's bar mitzvah? I don't know why I chose that last one, but I chose that last one. No, wouldn't you rather want to wake up to not die? <laughs> so that's what we're playing today. Project Software. <laughs> Woo. Pocky tape packages. But yes, hello Lana, welcome, welcome. Boom, boom, boom. How are you doing today, Lana? You're sick? Oh, what are you sick with? Hi, Icy Fox. Hello, hello, hello. What are you sick with, Icy... Uh, Lana. Cold, flu... Please tell me it's not COVID. Hand, foot, and mouth. That doesn't sound pleasant. Automated broadcast system. Oh, I woke up the perfect time. Are you like achy? You know, weird. The disease that mainly affects children under five is that chicken pox? You got chicken pox? Bro, I hope you're okay. If a car drives at 48 kilometers per hour, weighs 900 freak, how much force is needed for it to stop in 15 meters? All of your hands and feet? That sounds like chicken pox. Ish. If a car drives at 48 kilometers per hour, weighs 940 kilograms. How much force is it needed? Oh, there's an actual... Isn't that like a really easy calculation? Or smallpox? Is that smallpox? Because anybody can get smallpox. So, like, I'm, it sounds like a really easy, you just need to find the right, uh, I took physics 11. Um. Wait, actually, I want to legit check this up. Calculation, uh, to stop force and, is it acceleration? No. Wait, that is force and acceleration. Stopping force is FB is directly proportional, so FB equals KV. And mass is equal to KV. Yeah. Well, it's not entirely annihilated. People, people don't get vaccinated. So yeah, essentially you need FB equals KV, inserting into the notation 2, we obtain MA equals minus KV. We express the acceleration as a change in the speed of time. So then you get MD VDT equals K minus KV and the speed V times T. That's good. I'm very happy you got vaccinated. I know that's a very controversial subject for some unknowable reason nowadays, but... Um, it's important that you get vaccinated. 
It's not the government trying to control you. If they really wanted to control you, they would do it in a way that nobody would know. They would obviously not want to make it known to the public. Got H F A M. H H F A M. Disease. Oh, hand, foot, and mouth disease. Oh, okay. I've seen it before. I've seen it before. And uh, it's caused by the enteroviruses. Intriguing. Well, I hope that clears up. It says what treatment it clears up in 7 to 14 days. Depending on the person. Well, that's good. I think. <laughs> ah, so you're still contagious. So, you're still on track, I think. So, sucks, but you're still on track. This is what I want to do. I want to board up these windows here. Because that's like the easiest way. Although, how do we get out? I don't really have a sledgehammer. Because if they get in, we're screwed. So maybe it might be better to board up the actual doors themselves. And not leave the doors open like a jack. Jackass. We probably won't be coming back here, but it's okay to actually have like little bases like this set up, like forward bases. This is not a bad place to base either. Like that. So that way, they can only come through one door. And if they try to... So usually zombies, they'll like try to split up a little bit. And this way, they if they break out, I still have time. And I can still have an exit out of that door. And I, Barricades give you time. The idea of a barricade, like in real life and in this game, barricades are not your... They're your first line of defense. They are not, do not rely. They should be your first line. And by first, I mean you should have several. It's the same with locks. I used to be a locksmith for a time. And the idea of them is to buy you time. Buy you time in like real life with locks to buy time to call the authorities. Or buy time for you to scare them off. Or buy time for whatever it may be. The idea is, is that you... Uh, are buying time and in that way um, it allows you to think allows you not to panic um, but never rely on your barricades because the first rule of barricades is nothing is 100% secure in this game or in real life Nothing is secure, like 100%, nearly impossible. 
just literally about a matter of time before someone breaks in. So giving yourself that extra time, like like if say I'm running here, see that this is open, go up there, gives me time that this won't break apart immediately and people won't think. It'll allow me to see more options. Also, people texting me. Whoa. And time is like one of the most valuable resources in any scenario. Like time is the only thing you can't replace. And every single time you get, like even a second's worth of time can mean the difference of life or death. So in this way, what I'm doing is I'm giving myself time. They can still get in. They can still ruin me and I can still, uh, they can still totally ruin my day. But what this does give me time now the idea with barricades though is in this game that i always found interesting is uh what entrances do you block off right what what entrances do you block off like do you allow yourself uh area to get in and out is it worth it to do that or like what what do you want to block and what do you not want to block off a good rule of thumb always have two exits and even then sometimes it's better to have more three or four in this instance i have a massive surrounding so i have multiple exits but right now i'm cutting off exits to an extent i'm saying a goodbye but i still have one up there i still have one through these windows there i'm going to start cutting them off a little bit But uh, I'm actually going to cut one off here, go like this, barricade, there you go. All right, any zombies outside? There is one, hello. Let's go kill it. So many Squid Game prints are popular. Yeah, apparently that's really popular. That entire entire movie right now is very, very, very popular. Or TV show. I don't know what it is necessarily. Isn't it like kind of like a dystopian future, kind of like Hunger games ish -y? I don't know. That's kind of what, I, what I've gathered from the memes. <laughs> From what I've gathered about the memes. But you are right, it's very popular right now. Apparently it says a lot about our society. <laughs> I've seen it on r slash anti-work. Obviously r slash dank memes, r slash good anime memes. You guys are getting a window into my subreddits I follow. Oh no. Sucks that we lost out on so much experience, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Tweet, tweet. It's like a whole bunch of death games and blah, 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 from what I understand. Do, do, do. 
Anybody behind here? Quite. Uh, behind here? Oh, there is. This is why you check your corners. And you're dead. And you're dead. Woo! Oh, wow, there's a whole gaggle of them up there. Okay, there's a whole bunch of them. Alright, let's do this. I'm getting messaged. Traveling comment. Oh, Cosmo's already. I'll also, uh. Cosmo's also streaming. Well, enjoy Cosmo's stream. I know most of my view. I know like 60% of my viewers are also Cosmo viewers. <laughs> Don't call me out like that. <laughs> Don't worry. Do not worry. Ooh, a beret. She doesn't need a hat. She's beautiful the way she is. All right. More zombies. I wish to take them out. I'm surprised you survived that. Yay! Spears! Spear build! Spears are, like, so ridiculously powerful in this game. It's not even funny, actually. More people texting me. So, Lover Lana, if you're actually still in my chat and hearing me, uh, out of curiosity, um, where did you choose your nickname? Why did you choose your name as Lover Lana? I always like knowing. If that's okay to know. Where's the origin of your username? Lana is an IRL nickname. I want something that rhymed. Lover Lana. It works very well. It, uh, what's, what's the term? Is it alliteration that works? Yeah, I think that's called alliteration because assonance is vowels sounding similar. So the alliteration is lovely.
The only way you can somehow make the alliteration even more transparent is if you added another L word. Like, hmm, what's a good L word? Hmm. Later. Ooh, the late lover Lana. There we go. The late lover Lana. <laughs> Unless you were saying later in the sense of you're leaving the stream. <laughs> <laughs> In which case, oof. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why does that look like a creeper? Creeper! Oh, man. That would have been perfect. <laughs> just like, Evans was like, you're, I think you're giving me an L, an L word. It's like, nope, bye. <laughs> just, just like, ah, frick. All around me are familiar. <laughs> Can that be my new goodbye? Later, love Alana? But yeah, no, yeah, later is usually typically used as a goodbye. See you later. Later. Hammer down. I'm actually running out of nails. Technically, based on physics, I should be barricading on the outside rather than the inside because that's uh, how nails work. But you know what? The f uh, physics in this game does not translate exactly to real life, so we can get away. Boom. Just hammer down. And a hammer down. Stop. Hammer time. Everywhere I go, people always know. Alright. Let's take a shower. We could also check to see if the water's disappeared. Oh, we're good. Even, uh, even more squid games? What do you mean even more squid games? Wait a second. Hmm. Let's take it easy. The helicopter vent may be coming. When that happens, all hail's about to break loose. So I can put, and there's like one third of what's coming up. Oh. God, I want a 3D printer. Like, 
they they like to be able to make your own figurines is the only reason why I want a 3D printer. You got my you got yours for free? How'd you get yours for free? Bruh. Is a 14 year commitment that got ruined by COVID? Oh, I'm sorry. Was it because like you guys couldn't see each other? I'm going to assume it's a romantic commitment maybe? Sorry if I'm reading too much into that. Cause that's a long time. I see. I see. Fair enough. That sucks, though. Time to lose a skirt, I think. That sucks. Well, damn, you picked right. <laughs> hey, you just picked objectively right here. Well, that's fair. 3D printers, like, the amount of stuff you can do with it is ridiculous. filament well that's to be fair i mean how much is filament can't be that bad i know the the initial cost of a 3d printer is more than anything it has to be those ain't cheap Well, I mean, over, yeah, you could have, but you still have a 3D printer. Like, what's the point of having two 3D printers if you don't have the filament? <laughs> 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 the 3D printer itself is a problem. Yeah. For fun. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I decorate, what do you decorate your house with? 3D printers. <laughs> what? Do you use them? No, I can't afford the villains. What? <laughs> Odin, why do you stink right now? I blame you exclusively.
Oh man, I hate this stage of the game where you know the helicopter vent's coming. So any little like whoop, 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 whoop sound like you hear is cause for panic. Generally, helicopter vents are not that bad, but like they can kill you if you're caught unawares. You never know if you're fully prepared. Never know. All right. How much butter do we have left? Hey. Running out of food, we probably have about two days left worth of food. This broadcast will tell us if we need to worry about that. I know that we have to worry about a severe tropical storm in like a day or two. Two days. I think it's one day because this thing resets at six in the morning. Oh yeah, we don't have a... Frick, I forgot. Actually, I want to check the Project Zomboid map if there's literally anything else. <sighs> Project Zomboid map. Build 41 map project. All right. We are right... Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's nothing even in that direction. If we followed the road, we could find ourselves like a little trailers, but nothing really scary. It'd be faster to go into like that area. Hmm. -hmm. Happened in the woods over there. Well, do we feel ambitious enough to go? No, with the problem is now just trying to find what to do. At this point, we can't base build. We're kind of like in a loop. Normally, we'd be watching TV and looting because we would be in town. But I can't get into town because we got thoroughly cucked. Thoroughly cucked. I guess we could like forage a little bit. If we forage, we can get more stuff and blah blah blah. I don't like foraging at night time though. It just seems like a death sentence. So let's go anyways. Ooh, we actually have a box of nails actually in our thing. Never mind, open box of nails. We 
But he can continue barricading. Gives us something to do, I guess. Gives us experience. There's a D20, but all the sides are one. That... That seems like a bad dice. <laughs> I don't like that dice very much. I get enough ones as is. <laughs> I get enough ones as is. <laughs> Yeah, I do too. What uh, system do you tend to play? D&D? Fair enough. I'm a Starfinder Pathfinder guy. But I know a little bit about D... Well, I know a lot about D&D. <laughs> I've also played D&D. I'm usually the dungeon master myself. I feel like you'd be a good DM. Well, thank you. I'd try to be. I haven't DM'd a game in a while because I lost all my friends that played D&D. &D. <laughs> well, I should reiterate, I lost all the... F uh, yeah. That's essentially what happened. Also, did, am I done? Like, Okay, well. Why don't I create things of... Oh, Ooh, I have an idea. Carpentry, furniture. Can make a table, maybe? My dish, aha. Makes them even slower. I like DMing, but obviously everybody likes playing too. Uh, one of my favorite characters I ever... Uh, so I had a few, but one of the favorite characters I ever played, his name was Alphonse Heisenberg. Hello, my name is Alphonse Heisenberg. I am a uh, necromancer, and my brother is a cleric. Uh, we do get along, don't worry, uh, but it sometimes can get a little bit strained. He's a, he's a neutral good uh, necromancer. Heisenberg, yes. He was a he was a neutral good uh, from Re Village. Um, I didn't particularly think about that, no, but he could be. I don't know. I kind of actually based them off of uh, the the Elric brothers from uh, Full Battle Alchemist. Like both uh, two really smart brothers trying to find their way in the world. And another one is a piece of armor. To an extent, yeah. I don't know how zombies interact like this. I don't know. Gives me experience.
Is this Umbri character? No. Well, Umbra did name this character. But the idea was my own. Aranikos. Piranikos. Because I said it was going to make a spear kind of build to an extent. And she's like, I have an idea. <laughs> But no, Umbra's character has been dead for uh, some time now. I've gone through like three different characters. <laughs> I just died due to like, you killed Umbra. I didn't want to watch her die, but she did die, yes. Okay. Pepe hands, yeah, no. Hmm, it's almost too bad we don't have a. If we left the ranch, I could have just started taking apart these um, cars, put them back together. Get experience for that, but I'd like skill books before I do that. Just looking for zombies at this point, just something to do. Character was a little bit bored. I don't want to run to town because if the helicopter event comes, then I will definitely do not prepared for it so i'm in like a little bit of a waiting game right now I think tomorrow is going to be a massive storm, too. If the storm coincides with the helicopter event, oh my god. Okay, helicopter event coming soon, and it might coincide with the storm. Oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> The douchebag helicopter may be upon us sooner than we want. Well, actually, I'd want it to come now, if at any point.
Let's go forge for some berries. So I think the red berries are poisonous. Turn around the corner. Oh, there is a zombie there. Hello. Hello, good sir. Hello. Goodbye. Beer. Literally, sphere dice. Yes, I think there is a sphere dice, and that, like, contains every single dice. Like, there's one, unless it's, like, the weird, like, dice where it's, like, it always lands on one. <laughs> but I remember someone had designed a dice that's, like, like a D100, a D20, D10, D8, D6, and a D4 all in one. Super cool. Yeah. Super cool. Wait. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. Yeah, it looks like this. Uh, boop, 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 boop. If I do display capture, turn off that. Looks like this. Super cool. As a kind of, on the inside, they have to put a ball bearing on the inside. Oh. Helicopter's here. Okay, time for her dad's lotto to focus. Time for Dad's Lotto to focus.
It's literally outside. Off we go! You know what? I don't want to go through that. There's probably going to be another pathway up. Not really, but you know. Bag of chips. <sighs> okay. Wait in the middle of nowhere. Literally on the other side of the map from where we are. Holy frick, this helicopter vent's lasting literally forever. Not literally, but you know. some comfort berries. Get out of here. Did 
This has enough gas to get us to our location, and that's probably it. Oh wait, we lost a tire. Oh lovely, I didn't even notice that. So this side of town's dangerous. Good to know. But that might mean that the other side of town and the south side of town might be a bit safer. Might be. Of course it ain't looking it, so it might just be the south side of town that might be safer. Of course, nothing around here, so that's good. can't believe we lost a tire. Anyways, Dad's a little doesn't need to focus anymore. Who? Oh! I broke the car. I broke the car. Great. <laughs> <laughs> just, just peachy. Okay. You know what? We'll go like this. We'll take what we can and head back home. You need to focus more than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I broke the car. Ran into it. Broke the last vestiges of my car. We're going too fast. My house is pretty far away. But we can weather a storm there. And I brought buckets. And I've got weapons, just in case. I found an axolotl keychain, a mine- Ooh! I'm so happy that they added axolotls to Minecraft. Because they're so, like, endangered, they need a, a little bit of help in life. For something that can heal as fast as they can? Like, they need help. <laughs> So we need to find a new vehicle, something fierce. Our priority is to get into town, find books and vehicle. We'll survive off the food that we have, what we can get. Uh, 
I walk this lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. Whoa, whoa, I walk alone, I walk alone. The shadows. Wait, how does that song even go? Yeah, the sh my shadow's the only one that walks beside me. My shallow heart's the only thing that's beating. Sometimes I wish someone out there will find me. Till then I walk alone. I walk alone. I walk alone. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. I walk alone, I walk alone. I wish I got this vehicle to work. But nobody has gas! <laughs> mm, actually... Ooh, I have an idea where I can not only find a vehicle, but find stuff. Ooh. We had to run from there. But due to the helicopter event, they might have all been dragged out. Ooh. Dad's a lot of has ideas. <laughs> I also need to get to carpentry level seven. I am now scared. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> yep. All right, here is home. Probably put storage and stuff in there and make this fortress me. You need to cook this meat patty. Oh, we can't even. Okay. That makes a lot of sense now. What color axolotl keychain? I like the blue one myself. Just simply because it's, it's a reference to Mudkip. I thought I was going to use my map.
I don't have the things to make it multiple colors. Well then, make it blue. Or light blue, I should say. Should have. We have a lighter. Good. I'm reading this right the frick now. So we shouldn't starve, at least until winter comes. Yes, uh. Can we make it up? Okay, fine. Guess we're not making it up. That stays with us. But yeah, no, I love like axolotls and mudkips and stuff like that. Like that's what they're referencing. Fuel planks one. Add fuel planks one. And then we start the fire. How do I see how much I... Three hours, okay. You don't need two planks. All right, so we have all this stuff. And we probably have some stuff too on our way back. I don't need this many hammers. Stay with me. Axe goes in there. I also will be right back. I need to go to the washroom.
All right. Do, 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 do. My cat is sitting in a shoebox. All right, I'm back. Oh, God. I have like a snack, which is basically just taking a spoonful of Nutella, and I messed up. <laughs> Okay, we have survived the helicopter event, and now I have new plans. Now that I know what we're going to be doing, let's sleep in the ghetto place for now. Oh wait, the monsoon is supposed to come our way, isn't it? Well, if it starts raining, I'm I'm gonna go to my car that we wrecked and totaled. Uh, if it starts raining, we'll just grab what we can from the car, head back home. Alternatively. Um, Jesus. Um, alternatively, if it hasn't rained, we'll press forward and we can go to the place that I was thinking of. <laughs> My ideas. Also, it seems that upstairs, um, it's being noisy again. I want to double check this thing. Uh, 
So do you know what my breakfast was this morning? Carrots. Because I had made soup. And I'm literally just a scavenger feeder. Like, I are up. I am just a scavenger feeder. I literally just eat whatever is convenient. Breakfast was my lunch. Understandable. Millennials are like... Millennials, I believe, are also kind of like opportunity feeders. Because it's like, okay. Well, millennials and Gen Z. Because we're just like, okay. If I sleep now, I can choose like to eat later. My mouth is starting to blister. Yeah, bruh. Stay safe, Lana. I think we're all just opportunity feeders because we all recognize that our economy is so trash that there is always a chance where we just like don't get to eat even though we, you know, live in a society where And you know what's funny? It's like, okay. So I was reading the I was reading an interesting little article about like poverty being tied to obesity. It's kind of a weird thing, but it kind of makes sense. Like, yeah, Poor people always get a chance to eat, but they don't get to eat healthy food. Not like in Japan. Like in Japan, obesity rates are like super low. Why? Because the food that they give cheap there is very healthy. Like their fast food is healthy food. Oh, nothing in this car. But it doesn't have a key, so if I can get gas. Maybe we have another car. Ooh, a screwdriver. Well, it hasn't rained yet. So how about this? Like this. But like, okay, so continuing on. Um, but yeah, like healthy people here, like in the States and in like Canada and in Europe, they're like cheap option. Like if you want fast food where you don't have to prepare anything. Okay, have a good one, Icy Fox. You, if you can't really have time to prepare, is like McDonald's. McDonald's is surprisingly cheap. Like, if you get the value pick menu, but is that healthy? No. It's a weird catch-22. I forget. I need to check the projects on board map again. Yo. Oh, it's actually past my house. Well, damn. Okay. actually way closer than I thought and there's so much stuff to loot there and probably some books and just overall like there's just how many buildings like there's a whole trailer park there's all that second trailer park there's a supermarket Ooh. what should I name my new axolotl like IRL or the plushie or what are we talking about here The print? Hmm. What's another Mexican god's name? What's up with the Mexican god of death? Ah! Name him uh, Mich Lent Kutli. Mich, uh, Mich Lent Kutli. 
I think that's how you pronounce it. Mit Kantakutli. Ah, Mick Lent T Kutli. Mick Lent T Kutli. I think that's how you pronounce it, actually. Name him that. Every axolotl should be named after, like, a Mexican god or goddess. Because that's where they come from. I love how you name mine after the god of death, though. Well, like, when someone had a plush, I forget who. Was it you who bought the plush? I don't know. God of death is cool. Like, we can't take Kootli? Like, it's just, I don't know, a random one. I, I just know. Like, the thing is why I specifically say god of death. Okay. Is because, um... Every culture usually has a god of death. Because death is something that humans actually constantly have to think about and worry about. Um, yeah, it was Icy Fox, yes. Icy Fox had him. I, I wanted her name at Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. Um, which was a dragon. And the thing is, is it's very common for every culture to have a god of death. In fact, they think that religion or spirituality actually comes from our need to overcome death. It's a way for us to overcome death in extent. In the sense of, like, allows us to understand it in a way, or allows us to think about it in a certain way. It's all these different kind of factors, right? So I was just betting on the fact that there would be a Mexican god of death. Nothing in particular about it. Just thought there would be, and I wonder what a cool name. Like if you if you look at like elephants today, we notice that they're actually doing like burial rites. We're wondering if that's like a pseudo form of religion. And that's why they think that if humanity humanity was to be gone, the next like dominant like mental species that would evolve would possibly be elephants. I tuned out at the beginning of that and turned back and I lost, so I turned the tune back out. I am terribly sorry. I wasn't trying to... I was going on a rant about, like, stuff like that. Then I heard elephants. Yes. Are they your favorite animal, Lana? Nah. You just like them? They're cool, I agree. They're one of the most, uh, they're like the one of the most intelligent, emotionally intelligent creatures on the planet. Actually, is there even a lake around here? I don't think there is. No, but to the south of us is a very interesting location. South of us is a whole rail yard. There might be stuff in there. Till then, I want to go north a bit.
what do you like about elephants? Like, like what specifically do you like about elephants? Curiosity of mine. Excuse me, sorry. I find their gestation interesting. Oh? The fact that they're, like, pregnant for, like, a year and a half? That's a really long time. <laughs> like, could you imagine being pregnant for, like... Isn't it, isn't it, like, a year and a half? Or is it closer to two years? I forget. I don't know. Elephants are very interesting. They have... There's one disturbing fact I know about them. But we don't need to talk about that. But have you ever heard of Jumbo the Elephant? 17 months? Fair enough. Ooh, more shotgun shells in here. Oh, there is... There is a whole thing in there. Oh, okay. I wish to sleep again. Probably gonna rain today. <laughs> don't don't ruin don't ruin the elephants. Jumbo the elephant though was like one of the largest elephants like in the world. He was a circus performer. And he was like really attached to um, his handler. And, uh, he, like, Asian is 18 to 20, and African is 20, oh, it is, like, two years. Jesus. That should be pregnant for two years. <sighs> I'm a guy, and I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> All right, how long have we survived actually? 10 days, 14 hours. Well, that's our current average. <laughs> as long as we don't do anything stupid while we're going, we should be okay. How you doing, Odin? Odin's just passed out in his box. He really likes his box. <laughs> it's just literally a shoebox. Like, I had to get new work boots. And stuff like that. It's just a shoebox. Elephants hug each other. Yes, they do. Like I said, they're one of the more emotionally intelligent creatures on the planet. 
They do a whole bunch of stuff for each other. Another creature that's also really smart and a lot very emotionally compatible are killer whales, even though they are evil. Killer whales are evil. Orcas, if you want to get specific. But, like, they teach each other. They, their pods are very close-knit. Like grandmas, the grandmas of the group teach all the young ones. Usually uh, matriarchal. They can recognize.